we are in Raibareli, a hot seat in these Lok Sabha elections and we're joined by Raibareli MLA, Aditi Singh, a very well-known face in UP politics and national politics. Uh, Aditi ji, uh, this indecision of the Congress over Amiti and Raibareli, we had a CEC yesterday, but still we don't know who's fighting for the Congress. What perhaps explains it? What is your understanding? I certainly don't get it uh, why they wouldn't announce a, a candidate. It, it's literally uh, 20 days to voting, if uh, 20, 21 days to voting. Uh, and this is uh, certainly uh, unprecedented. And given that you're the incumbent, uh, the fact that you're still not announcing a candidate is uh, uh, is also um, shows lack of confidence, if you will. It uh, it it shows how scared you are, uh, uh, perhaps uh, to 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 sort of announce a candidate or to uh, come fight from here, uh, because as you probably know better better uh, you know than I do is uh, that there's a lot of anger on the ground in both Raibreli and Amethi vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis the fact that they haven't uh, come to visit or they haven't uh, necessarily, uh, you know, cared for the constituency or nurtured the constituency uh, after 2019, uh, after winning Raibreli in 2019, Bishak losing Amethi, but um, still having said that, you, you, you still owe that to to your voters that did in fact vote you and many, many times that did still give you whatever votes you got in 2019. Uh, uh, you you do owe them that. And the fact that they just have not been back um, in, in, in their respective constituencies uh, has, um, uh, you, you know, uh, there's a lot of anger towards them for that particular issue. Um, so I don't know why, I don't even know if they will contest from here or not, or if it's going to be some dummy candidate uh, uh, from their end. Uh, time and time. Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, and you have earlier worked closely with her in the past when you were the Congress party. Uh, there has been so much speculation about her political debut. We heard it is the last election. Now we're hearing that she may replace her mother from Raibaleli. Do you think it will make a difference? You know, As you say, there are people are angry. Do you think if, if Priyanka comes, people will maybe go back to the Gandhi family to vote for them? Will that happen? See, the one thing I know uh, better than to do is obviously uh, predict uh, electoral politics and uh, you know public elections. Uh, but as, as was seen in my election, I mean, I, I'm literally just, if I just talk facts and figures and numbers, uh, in 2022, uh, four out of five seats from the Lok Sabha constituency library uh, went to the Samajwadi Party. Uh, 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 my seat came to the Bharati Janata Party. And uh, on most seats, uh, uh, Congress Party couldn't even save their deposits. You know, so uh, these are obviously all uh, telling trends. Sonia Gandhi's margin was the lowest it has ever been ever since she started contesting from from Raibareli uh, in the last Lok Sabha election. But the things were not put even in the last elections for Congress in Raibareli, the Lok Sabha. They weren't, do you remember? Uh, the margin had come down. Gee, the margin had come down significantly from, mm. from the, the election before in 2014. Um, so, I, and, and exactly like you said, rightly said, that uh, her, um, you know, uh, uh, impending uh, electoral debut has been, uh, you know, the, 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 the debate has been going on uh, for decades now. Um, uh, uh, she's a, the thai, uske pehle bhi, and he, I remember back even in my father's time uh, that she will contest and this and that and so on and uh, uh, you know eventually she hasn't um, so th 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 that's her time to tell and that's their own uh, strategy and uh, own decision making in terms of whether or not she does decide to contest I was, I was, I was going around in, in Raibarali constituency speaking to people so people say okay if Rahul Gandhi's uh, nomination is delayed because he's contesting Vyanar Maybe explain that they want to, but why delay the contest from Raibareli? It's not that Priyanka Gandhi is going to contest from two seats, is it? No, absolutely. Uh, to be very honest, I'm just as confused as you are as to why the Congress Party uh, would delay it so much. Um, because I, 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 I think they probably, I mean, if I was to just logically guess, uh, they're probably very, very confused and very, very scared when it comes to Uttar Pradesh because this is a state where they are practically wiped out. Um, as you know, from, from the assembly, from the Lok Sabha, from any kind of uh, uh, panchayati or Nagar Nikai, mm. uh, pretty much, pretty much a wipeout. So I, uh, you know, I'm, I, I would imagine that they're just very, very nervous uh, about taking this call. And also, uh, my last question that, you know, uh, even if Rahul and Priyanka contest to, for an argument's sake, do you think they can still win the Metian rivalry or BJP is too strong in this? I've seen Smriti Rani campaign like, 140 public meetings already. She's taken a big lead. Is BJP confident of winning these two seats no matter who contests from the Congress side? 
Uh, definitely, definitely. Uh, uh, all the reports have come back very, very positive. I mean, uh, 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 Amethi, uh, Toshik, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, Mrs. Priti Rani, uh, Honorable Minister, created history in 2019. Um, and she has been. I mean, you know, she's she's made her house there. She's had all these meetings already. But uh, even uh, during the last five years, she truly has been, uh, uh, you know, very much active uh, in Amethi. Uh, she she's been in and out a lot. She's visited her constituency, nurtured her constituency a lot. Um, so I I certainly think that uh, uh, it should be very very positive for 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 the BJP. Yeah, I think the biggest factor also in these elections as I move around UP is the Modi Yogi factor. You know, many people speak about not less about the candidate in this election, more about the Modi factor, the Yogi factor. I think that is overwhelming uh, the people here when it comes to voting, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, I really, um, especially when it comes to Uttar Pradesh, because you're double engine ki sarkar hai, uh, a face like our Honorable Prime Minister, and then a, a, a face uh, like our Honorable Chief Minister, who's changed, uh, you know, the situation of law and order and so many other things. Um, law and order being one of the biggest factors for myself as a woman also, uh, and all, for in general voters and especially women voters. Um, it, it's been game changing absolutely in Uttar Pradesh. Um, and the uh, uh, double engine is the government. It truly, you, you've seen it election after election. Uh, sometimes the voter may be more silent, sometimes more aggressive. But end of the day, until the result of 2014 happened, and there's been no looking back for, for us, for the Bharti Janta Party. Now, Tarun Kissing clearly saying that whoever may contest for Mithi and rivalry for the Congress, the BJP chances of winning both these pocket borrowers of the Congress are very, very strong this time. Also saying, that the overwhelming factor in these elections, obviously, is the Modi and the Yogi factor. Saman Sharma with Arjun Singh for CNN News 18 from Raibareli.